Welcome back to another day on the Lorcana Pixelborn client. Today we're going to be doing a revised list of Steel Song. Uh, just real quick, I'll throw in, uh, just show you what the quick changes. Quick changes obviously are going to be we're running some Stitch, we are running some Rockstar Stitch, and uh, Moana's new. So ultimately, I mostly, mostly increased the count of the deck. Uh, <laughs> uh, we did drop down a little bit on Cerberus. I am on a hair's edge here of swapping out Cerberus for Kronk. Uh, the difference between the two is Kronk cost six, Kronk has six of power, and Kronk uh, quest for two. So slightly more powerful, but slightly more expensive. And considering our, uh, our curve should be reasonably low, the most expensive card in the deck is Big's Carefree Surfer Stitch. Uh, whereas Tink and Rockstar Stitch can be shifted in on turn four, so they're not quite at the six cost. Uh, so in theory, we could have our curve goes one through five, and then, uh, turn six is technically an off turn. And then, start for Stitch. Yeah. This looks pretty strong. I'm excited to see how the changes work. Uh, the, the reason for adding in these extra things uh, Stitch is just for a little bit more, uh, just a, a hair more aggression, uh, a little bit more ink ability. Not that we had huge issues with ink. The deck is, uh, really good on ink. You know, only five can't be inked. Uh, but the draw power from Stitch is also really nice, uh, if we need it. And then, uh, Moana. Moana has a very potent ability. When this character quests, you may ready your other princesses. Uh, there's a there's a decent number between Ariel and Rapunzel. Uh, outside of that, I don't think there are any more prince princesses. Uh, but Ariel is super potent. The deck is all about Steel Song. So if I can sing a card, you know, sing a song with her, and then ready her, and then sing another song with her, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be really strong. Just having a Moana in play. But we're gonna see. Let's jump into some games and see if we can't pick up a few. <laughs> Finally get to go first. Can we see an aerial in the opening hand, please? No, we can't. Okay. Maybe I keep you then. Maybe I can dig for my aerial for a turn three play. I'll trash the rest of you. No aerial. Well, but. I'm gonna feel bad about tossing this beast if they instantly are like, Oh yeah, we're Ruby! Amethyst. And we're gonna play 102 items. There's Steel. There's Steel. Blackbeard. I almost feel like I've played against you before. Hey, there is an aerial. Oh, but there's a Tink! There's a Tink! But there's an aerial. But there's also a Tink. I can have a turn four Tink. I can have a turn four Tink. <laughs> I don't know. I, my opponent's likely not going to be very aggressive to the board. They're going to play cards like Captain Hook and Prince Eric. There's Hans for the ping damage uh, to stabilize the board. Steel Song again. Is this three games in a row of Steel Song? I think it is. We're gonna play a little cautiously. I got the uh, potential Tink board wipe combo. Well, three damage to everything. I mean, at this rate, it's gonna be a board wipe. This card a Rapunzel, wow. Gold. Oh, thank you, opponent. My opponent's gonna be so mad. I can almost taste the salt. It's so good. Shift! 
Shifting the Tinkerbell. Sing my song, Tinkerbell. <laughs> that was nice. And that was from a comment. Don't forget you can shift Tink and then sing. Oh, yes. What a play. I appreciate it. The comments are so nice. You guys obviously know how to play this game better than I do. I do not know why you watch, but I appreciate it. And like that, we have control of the board. It's dangerous to not ink, but I really don't want to ink either card. I mean... I want to play Beast for the quest, but I don't need Beast in this matchup. Mostly he'll just have a big butt and be a little harder for opponents to deal with. Wow, I was just about to say, are we going to see a sword tier? And then I'm like, no way they play a sword. That's their entire turn. That's crazy. Uh, I should have held on to Hans. Should have held on to Hans. In case I wanted to ink something else. I love how like, some of the misplays I make, they're like, they're so instant where it's like, Oh, I'm gonna make this play. And that play was wrong. That play was incorrect. I can't believe I done did that. <laughs> We see them play their own tank. Yep, I'll take out the aerial. So we need at least two creatures for this to be good. I think I'm just questing with both characters here. So what happens? Tink takes out my tank does two damage on either side not necessarily lethal they could have smash in which case stitch all of a sudden becomes really bad maybe I gotta hold up here wait for them to play something else hit him with the grab your sword maybe they'll quest I don't they'll they'll never quest they'll just go into stalemate but if I wait one more turn and we go into stalemate I'll get to draw some cards all right it's worth an extra turn I actually thought it through, unlike every other... No, I, I do a lot of thinking. <laughs> Who's texting me this early in the morning? Oh, it's just a notification let me know my boss is on vacation. <laughs> That's fine. I already knew, phone. I already knew. If they play nothing, I'm attacking their hand. I just want to kill all of them. Alright, well, between Smash and Graver Sword, we can definitely take out Big Tank. Let's play something they don't want to deal with. Oh, I don't want these. They're so small and useless. Well, if I sing Graver Sword with Beast, then I can attack Tank, get the two damage on Tank. Then, at least when this Tank attacks, it's trading. Definitely dying. I think we still wait. I just have a feeling there's going to be a play that's going to massacre their board. And then I'm overlooking it and you guys are totally like, wow, Winter, you're so dumb. <laughs> Glad we didn't play into the damage plan there. Can I get the healing card? That would be huge. I can't get the healing card. Not huge. See, Stitch takes out Tink. 
Beast attacks. Tink. Bunzel finishes Tink. I don't like it. These are all not good. I mean, my quest power is really great. But as soon as I like start questing, I give him the opportunity to attack. That's where I'm in trouble. But we're gonna trade the beast. Did you know one beast trades for exactly one fairy? <laughs> I did. There we go. No way my opponent pulls from this. If I can't pull a victory out of this, I don't know how to play this game. So what do we do? We just... Yeah, it's not quite lethal, but it's very close. It doesn't quite take care of their board, but... It's still a strong play, and I'm gonna do it. I'm very will sing this. I just take out Rapunzel. I think I just take out Rapunzel here. Just such the easy play. There's the victory. No way they recover. Thank you, opponent. I was nervous. Probably for no reason. Oof. Go in second. Man, why we always get this Hakuna Matata? Oh nope, never mind. I'm a I'm a dum dum. I thought this was the other card. I thought this was you. Have forgot me. I was like, man, we always get this when we go second. Man, it's tough to resist the Tinker Bell grab your sword combo. I need the other Tink though. There's some aerials. I might actually be able to get something done in this game. Oh, is this red amethyst? It probably is. Oh, then we need beast. Whoa! Slow down, sucker. I need my beast. What am I pitching then? I mean, early, early points. As long as they're gonna be extra good. They will have a board presence. I don't know how strong Tink's gonna be. Smash is looking a lot better. Man, that instantly made my hand way more, way more questionable. Sorry, Tink. I do have aerials to sing the sword if I need it. And again, we don't know if this is red, am red, red, purple, ruby, amethyst. And but of course it is. <laughs> but of course it is. As soon as I saw Maui, I'm like, oh, that's a very aggressive card for this type of deck. I betcha. And I was right. Man, that's too early to play Magic Mirror. I'm gonna be able to destroy it with Beast before you can really get to use it. Trying to get in under... Oh, they got the aggressive version, nice. That's why, well, well, that's why we have aggressive cards. They're trying to get in under the board wipe here. Could also just smash it and then continue to quest. Wow, big whiff, big whiff. Yeah, we're not making as much dent on the uh, questing as I would like before the round seven board wipes. And the round nine Maleficence. Could use more creatures. This would be a great time for our Grab Your Sword to be inkable. At this point, I'm just going for it. They don't do damage. And they're not gonna have very many. Well, you're inkable at least.
in theory, both of these decks are tier 1 decks. And from my understanding for tournament plays, my deck has slightly edged out with having one more top you know, number one finish. Well, two magic mirrors is too much. I might end up just smashing the Rafiki. Now our opponent's in the turn five. They could just, oh, well, they've been in turn five. They could just dragon fire. Now they got a decent target for it. Oh, they're going for pure control here. We are very much going to get board wiped right now. Yeah, Tink was a terrible play. There's another instance of, I'm going to make a play. That was a bad play. <laughs> so here comes the board wipe. Like, yeah, I don't need Maleficent because our opponent won't have any creatures. I can't play this and play Beast this turn, can I? No, I can't. Will they take the opportunity to use the Magic Mirror then, knowing that it's going to die? They will. I won't even hesitate. Let's just de-destroy that thing. Do I quest? Maleficent just takes out Hook. No. No quest. That's two Maui's gone. Ooh. I hate playing against this deck. I hate playing against it. I do enjoy playing it, though. Conjure one for every card in your hand. Wow. I remember you. I vaguely remember you, but I remember you. Cerberus isn't going to live to see the light of day, right? Westing. We're gonna see another board wipe. We are. Wow. It's an interesting board wipe position. You gonna grab another board wipe back? Yes, you are. I would like a little bit more card draw, please. <laughs> it's really not a ton in the deck. My opponent doesn't make it easy for... Rapunzel's really tough for card draw in this matchup. There's not a lot of damage to be had. Dude, can I even deal with this Mickey Mouse? I can get four points of damage on it. There's the fifth point of damage. Alright, so if I play this right... If I play this right, I could double grab your swords, quest with Hans, take out the Mickey. And the Shield of Virtue is meaningless. I will sing this. I will cast this. Whoa. Don't worry, my opponent will top deck like a champion. Don't you worry. They always do. Wow. Could've got a better creature for sure.
No chosen characters to do damage to, so cancel. And here comes the board wipe. Stop panicking. My opponent has it. Oh, there's the Rafiki. Is it gonna go for is it gonna take out oh it's gonna take out Ariel? Not a great move, I don't think. Because then I just quest with Hans and Oh, double attack! So cool. So cool. Fantastic move by my opponent is what I meant to say. I told you they're gonna they're gonna top deck like a champion. Every card they draw is gonna be impossible to deal with. Ah, oh, so brutal. Well, I'm playing it for sure. And if they want to make the trade, they can make the trade. How dare- How dare they! How dare they! They can just double attack, can't they? Ah, oh, gross, they can double attack, can't they? Well, they're gonna quest! Are they still gonna attack, though? I'm telling you, Rapunzel's so hard to make work. They're thinking about it. They didn't do it. Can I win this race? Nothing to heal, so it doesn't matter. I think I can win this race. But my opponent will top deck like a champion! Oh, like a champion! <laughs> You cannot beat the top decks of the, the. I can't get these top decks. Let's be honest. I can't get these top decks. All right, and we just lost. There's nothing I can do now. I could have. I could have cycled for a card, but genuinely don't think that I had anything for it. Show me. I want to see the card before you just win, opponent. Ah, don't just win. I want to see the card. I want to see how much of a top deck champion you are. Uh, they never didn't had it. They top deck everything they need exactly when they need it. Brutal. Steel song revised. All right. Um. Crap. Now I need to remember what good hands look like in this deck. <laughs> oh boy. I got the tink into tink. This is the wrong stitch for the big surfer surf. Yeah, the uh, rockstar stitch. Get to go second, so I plus on the draw. So you have forgotten me does look better here. This might be a decent hand. Captain Hook for early aggression. Keep our opponent's board semi clear. All right, pixel born epic. Aggressive. Oh, no, oh, purple. Bouncy. Bouncy aggressive. So it's still aggressive. It's just bouncy aggressive. They're on average going to have slightly larger butts, so the Tink Swords combo is going to be really good. So turn three, I definitely got to get Tink down. Turn four is going to be Tink. Turn five? Perhaps the Beast if they... I don't think they play any items. I don't think I need Little Stitch. And hopefully a Captain Hook will keep them a little disinterested in attacking. Or questing, rather, sorry. Questing. I just woke up. We had a really late night. Uh, first Thursday of every month we do a, an event out of town for work. And, uh, yeah. I'm a little tired. <laughs> Flynn was the expected follow-up play. I should start calling my shots. Goodbye, Olaf. How dare you quest at me? There's the three toughness. I'm happy to keep getting cards to throw away. I don't know if I attack Blin here. 
What am I throwing away? A beast? My opponent's already almost out of hand. I mean, our turn. We could take out Flynn, drop the beast, and then play this, and then our opponent doesn't recover. Might be the way to do this. And then hopefully they give us just enough that Tink has uh, got a good board to clear. It does make it a little bit more challenging. They should have sang that song. That's surprising. I'm gonna attack their hand. There's not enough board state here for me to want to try to, you know, spend all my removal. Those the cards they just drew? Probably. I'm expecting to so go into turn five. We can have Mad Hatters, we can have Cusco. Those are the big ones. There they go. Now they know how to sing. If they get a Cusco, I'm not going to feel great. I'm throwing this all out now. Hmm. This is a tough decision. Because if I go Tink, sing a song, yeah, I clear the board, then they play a Cusco. I can't race the Cusco, especially when they're already ahead. Man, Prince Eric needs to be played. It's gonna be a good assaulting card. But then I'm not inking. Do I ink the smash? That's the question. Or is it my follow-up play after a tink and grabbing your sword? This tink and grabbing your sword is still not enough to take out a Cusco. So I still have to fight it. And then I lose a character. Man, that is tough. I genuinely don't know what the right answer is here. I think he's big. There's no Cusco. They're scared of Big Tink. That's fair, they should be. Our board wipe's looking really good. Don't need a big tink to take them out. Not much of a steel song, is it? We've played one amber card. <laughs> That's it. I don't know what my opponent's doing, but they've just kind of been paused here. There we go. I'm like, you don't have any plays. I don't know what's happening. Let's see, do I put the smash away, blow up the board, and then try to restabilize next turn with Moana? Or save the smash to try to take out whatever you got and ink the Moana? Ooh, sorry Moana. Take out the board. And I'm thinking I'm going to take out that Cheshire Cat. I could let them get two more lore, and then Tink could take it out. And I could definitely play Tink next turn. I have to give up the smash at this rate, but... Well, glad we've been holding on to smash. Take out the Cheshire Cat without losing a character. Our card draw has been really poor. <laughs> There's an aerial we've been needing.
Only the one option. We'll smash that. See if this actually ever comes in useful. Could sing it, but I'm not going to for the for the sake of the race. Four toughness across the board. Hans is pretty good here. Take him. Did I get him? What? It doesn't default? Come on. That's some BS. That is some BS. I play Hans now. I play Hans now. I had draw selected. Why didn't it default? Well, I can't win this race, but neither can they if they don't quest. That's so brutal, because I'd be taking out Pascal right now. Let's see, they can get up to 18. Next turn they can get up to 19. They're going to have to quest with something else. They're not going to win the race. Or have something to play. They could have a playable. Oh, stupid Hans. Stupid camera. I don't know how long I was out of focus. I'm I apologize. Alright, here they go. They're gonna do it. Now we wipe their board. Oh, and we gotta keep all of our damage off. That's nice. Take out the Mad Hatter. They get a draw card. It was bound to happen no matter what. Do the damage here. I'll finish him off here. Pascal loses evasive. Ariel can take him out. I quest. And then we heal the damage of all of our characters. Well. Moment of truth. Do we need Hans? <laughs> oh, that's such a feel bad. Our opponent would be a few points behind by now. At least one point behind. We would probably be up. Ooh, brutal. It's just enough to take us off a of victory. That's just enough to take us off a of victory and just enough to put them on victory. Well, that's some BS. That sucks. The Hans is definitely... I cannot believe the timer screwed me like that. Wow. Yeah, I'm a little salty. I'm a little salty. I deserve to have Hans. I had him selected. The only issue with this hand is I don't know if we're going to be needing aggressive cards like this. Going second again, these cards look great. I don't need two of them. Definitely don't need that card this early. One, two, three, four. I really don't need multiples of this. Steel Song. Maybe I do. Oh, it's an aggressive Steel Song. Aggressive still song meet Captain Hook. Let's see if this revised version could take down the Lilo version. You know it, boo boo. I'm taking out that Simba all day, every day. Watch them have a second Simba, though. 
guess I could smash it and take out the Lilo. There was a second Simba, it's just not the one I was thinking. Oh, we're smashing that for sure. It's gonna get smashed. All right, our hand is definitely going to get attacked. That is my- that is what I'm feeling. We are going to see them play. You have forgotten me. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Do I attack their hand? Oh, do I attack their hand? Watch them have a whole new world. <laughs> yeah, watch them have it and then just... Ah, they have a whole new hand. It'll cost them their entire turn, though. Horde Commander. Let me start reading people's names. I actually got a comment from somebody I played against. It was really cool. He'll just passing here. Prince Eric Stalemate. Alright, Ariel's gotta die. Ooh, she's not afraid of questing. Alright, we take out the Lilo, the Eric's trade. Could heal and draw a card. I don't think it's strong enough. Maybe that's my issue with Rapunzel's. I'm I'm too good to draw one card with her. Too good to have her just simply replace herself. She might be better if I'm a little bit more open to drawing at least two cards. And not always three. Ooh, not gonna trade the Eric. I understand why. Still just take out your aerial. Take out the aerial and draw two cards, baby. You fool! Yeah, Prince Eric will still defeat Hans. He'll trade. But the, the, the draw two. The draw two. I drew two. Two cards were drawn. That's good, right? <laughs> it's better than just simple card replacement. Yeah, we knew that was coming. Look at that. We're ahead on ink, though. That's nice. Hmm. I could get Hans back. I could attack. I could big tank. I think we're just gonna play Ariel and see what's good. Draw. Aw. Yeah, because they got more Rapunzel's. Doing an attack here. Like, if I'm not gonna take out Rapunzel. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. There's the whole point of having him around. Must still be able to ink, huh? Not going to. I almost took the other, what was it, a Rapunzel just there? I almost took the other card, but he takes out. Yeah, he takes out both of these. Oh. This is where it gets hard for me. Do I just destroy their hand and then I got another turn to try to deal with these guys? This is going to take a few turns. So they're probably going to get up to 16 before I can really take them out. Or do I try to start dealing with them now? Again, them having Rapunzel is a big deal. Step one is Cerberus, man. That's my whole turn. Ariel could attack Rapunzel, and then I could smash Rapunzel. 
Beast would then attack Ariel. Two damage on him, so Big Tink's not enough. But Little Rapunzel could attack him. I could effectively trade my princesses here and end up with a Big Tink. Do I gamble on them not drawing any cards? That's the point of this thing, though. Both of these... Both the pl all the pl all the plants feel like gambles at this point. This can't be sung. I think I'm gonna ink it. it. Doesn't open me up for anything though, does it? Are we playing too slow? We might be playing too slow for my opponent's taste. I don't feel as good about that victory. Uh, I do feel pretty good though. I I felt like we were in a you're taking them up to 16 at best, because a lot of times when they see Cerberus in play, you know, they're not going to quest anymore. Uh, which buys us a lot of time. Yeah, I'll take it. I feel good about it. It's fine. Going first. All right, I made some changes. I took out, uh, I got two more of this Rockstar Stitch in, because I feel like we're not seeing this coming up as much as I want. Going first, don't need that. They're kind of expensive. Let's get rid of those guys. And I brought it. I took out the uh, heal three damage for all your creatures card. There we go. Look, it's already paying off. I want to keep everything though. <laughs> My ink prints Eric instead of curving perfectly. And go for the Tinkerbell. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. Oh, Mickey Mouse. What interesting tech. Is this gonna be the weird Defender deck? There's a strange defender deck out there that looks interesting. It's it's still in the still song colors because there's so many defenders across those two colors. Interesting. Could attack their hand here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take out the board. It's not the biggest threat, but it's fun. I'm enjoying this little combo. Now we'll let my opponent use their smash. I pretty much chew up their whole turn. Oh, there's some blue in there. Hello, Bell. I'm definitely attacking their hand, right? Yeah, I'm definitely attacking their hand. Now they're in top deck mode, and idea we're kind of in top deck mode too, let's be honest, but... Our board's a little better. Their bell doesn't do squat for a long time. And we have the potential to get Stitch and drawing some cards. Well, we're definitely gonna get Stitch. Fortunately, we keep inking away all the little guys. All right, full full transparency. My rank has dropped after our Ruby Amethyst matchup. I ended up playing against the same guy twice, and once I realized it was him, uh, this one's not him. Uh, I instantly conceded. So we got like maybe thirty seconds into each game, and I lost two back-to-back -back games that way. I have no Prince Eye to, for this to work with. They're gonna get rid of... That was Stitch. The card draw, okay. Alright, well now they gotta take out something. Which they can. They can they can do it. 
They can trade both their creatures for or get a smash. Top deck champion? Nobody top decks better than my opponent. Uh, A57352FB8G32. They are, in fact, simply the best. I could, but I'm not going to take out Bell. Oh, I should have taken out Bell. Oh, no. Whoa, opponent. Whoa, opponent. You should have attacked. Okay. They didn't want to lose Bell that bad that they gave up victory. Weird. All in all, our rank didn't move very much. Uh, predominantly thanks to playing against uh, Acid, A-S-I-D. I believe that's how you're going to say that name. Uh, being paired up against them three times. I, I know I said I did, you know, I, I, I conceded those games instantly. I didn't say why. It's not great content. It's a very slow, boring, incredibly predictable game. And I just don't, I personally don't have time for it. Like I'm already looking at the clock like, oh, I got to go wake up my son in three minutes. <laughs> and then he's got to gotta take him to school and then I got to edit this video and then I got to go to work. Yeah, so yeah, I don't have, I no way I have time to play that stupid long game. I love the deck. Uh, and I think I would enjoy playing with it and against it a lot more if I wasn't under a constant time restraint. Which makes me think how many people out there have these time constraints in their daily lives, everyday lives. So how many of them are thinking the same thing? I don't have time to play against this deck. Its whole point is to take, you know, 20 minutes. Uh, no, don't got time for it. Uh, so, but I'll, outside of that, the deck was really nice. I really enjoyed the deck. It's always fun. Uh, I finally got to see the Rockstar Stitch after we made the change. Of getting rid of the uh, Hakuna Matatas and bringing up our stitch count to four from two. Uh, and then, and then, he was fantastic. Uh, if only we had the lore in that last game, because we ended up, uh, the, the lore, the, the ink. We ended up inking a Captain Hook and I think a second Captain Hook back to back just to get Rockstar Stitch out. Uh, but we could have effectively, if we had enough, we could have had him out. Played him, drew the next one, played the next one, draw the next one. Like, we could have we could have chained off. It would have been really cool. Uh, deck's super fun. You guys are all familiar with Steel Song. So this is just the Stitch variant. And uh, I think more Stitches is better. Stitch is, uh, Stitch is fantastic, as my friend Mila would say. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Click the notification bell because nobody's done it and I keep forgetting to say it at the beginning of the video when nobody's, you know, when everybody's still watching and nobody's watching now. I'll see you guys tomorrow.